You're going to bring the foot up to the chamber, and the other knee's you know, the legs are going to be bent just a little bit. You're going to bring the foot up to the chamber, kick with a ball of foot kick to the groin, and you're snapping. Itch. Knee. So. Sit. Go. Roll. Sit. Hutch. Kill. Jill. The reason you're doing this is one one thing is you're strengthening this front leg while you're exercising with your kick. But free firing situation, oftentimes you just use a what's called Nico Achidachi or cat stance, where most of your weight's on the back foot, weights off the off the front foot mostly, and then you would kick from the ground to the groin. Also, if you want to kick front kick to let's say the upper area and you want to get a little bit more distance rather than coming here and having your hips squared like this like you might if you were just kicking to the groin what you want to do as you come forward with the kick you want to thrust the hips under and you're going to get about six how about a half foot six more inches or so with this foot still being here in other words instead of doing this like you would kick to the Groin, if you're going to kick to the upper, uh, a little bit upper from here, up into the uh, midsection area, lower midsection area, what you do is roll the hip under and do a thrusting action. You get about six more inches, again, than if you're right here. Now, for the application. Simple position here, a man comes to start to fight you and you've got your weight on the back foot, and very little weight on the front foot, the man starts to fight you, starts to come in at you, and you kick, you can kick to the groin or you can kick to the midsection. Now if you were just wanting to come in to him, in other words if I was back here standing sideways and he started coming at me, I wanted to come in to him, I would thrust my hip forward, gives me about two more, or gives me about six more inches than if I were to just do this, notice it, see? See, I'm already past here by thrusting the hip forward. This, if I want to just come in and attack the man. Also keeping the hands up here with your shield. Very simple blocks to just come in like this and block. Gilgagiri is required for the QQ belt, which is a white belt with one green stripe, Gojiru Karate. First is a side snap kick, it's low to the uh, knee area. Bring right foot up, snap in, down, right foot up, snap in, down. You're going to curl the toes up just a little bit as you do this. It's a low kick. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, next is side thrust kick. Moving yoga gear. You're going to step behind, step back and down. Step, side thrust kick, down. Step, side thrust kick, down. You're stopping into the man. You can go back towards the back part of the heel. of the snapping yoga gary as your opponent comes in to punch you snap to the leg now I'll go a little faster okay he comes in snap open palm block it's just a very simple block that you can do again all right your side thrust kick now this is a very simple one to do you step behind with the left foot and when you come up you come up like you're going to heal the man in the groin. But instead of doing that, you come up, the right knee goes out, and you stomp. So it looks like this. Slow motion. Up, out, stomp. As the man comes in to punch you, you step in and stomp. Okay? Again. Alright. 
Wash Gary is a roundhouse kick. You can do it with the instep, or you can do it with the ball of the foot. Right now we'll do it with the instep, be to the groin area. Itch, knee, so, see, go, rope, six, hutch, kill, chill. Left foot, instep, itch, knee, so, see, go, rope. Sheets, hutch, kill, chill. Action for the roundhouse kick. A lot of people in karate will, when they throw this roundhouse kick, they'll bring their foot out too far, parallel to this line, too far out. That's too easy to see, and it's too easy to stop. When you're kicking the groin, your back foot should be back about a 45 degree angle, and this front foot should also be back at a 45 degree angle rather than up this way to a 45 to the front because if you have to take the time to turn it, it's a split second. All right, the application would be a lot of men that come in at you are open in the groin area. And if you will come along the knee, rather than the foot coming out here, come along the knee, you'll be right into the groin area. In other words, here's the way not to do it. This comes out too far. All right, the way to do it is the man starts coming to punch you, you come right up the knee. Okay, now, as I throw the kick and I do it the wrong way, you have blocked when I do it the wrong way. See, it's, it's too easy to stop. But if you do it the right way, you come from low, don't bring it up too high, you get right on the groin. All right, now, next application here is for a roundhouse kick to the midsection. As the man comes in at you, you bring the foot up and out, and you're going to kick with the ball of the foot in the midsection. Bring the leg up and out. You bring the leg up and out. And you can do a replacement step. If you want to hop in, hop in here and throw it up. You can either hit the midsection or you can hit below the belt. Now, next, roundhouse kick. This time it's going to be coming up here. Obviously you can't always get up that high. Man's not always open there. But if he is open there, if he's standing here, if he's standing here like this, if he doesn't, if he doesn't have his hand up here, which he should, but if he's got it down here, and he's got this line open, and he's coming into you, you move here and you come straight up this line, and you go right for the throw. All right? See? A simple. Here. Right through the open area. 